Hey guys and welcome to my patch notes review video for Fatfish and Flashy FX edition. And starting out, the, we are going to the new features, which is fishing trophies. Fish now have weights, and the heaviest fish of a given type count as a trophy catch, which can be deconstructed into bronze, silver, or gold trophies to place in your cornerstone or club world. So let me show you guys real quick. I started out in the hub world just to make it easy. So I'll buy one lure, and then I'll catch a fish, and we're going to continue talking. Um, basically, the fish will have a... I have one in my inventory. They will have a size, as you can see, the jumping jade fish. Inside the tooltip, it says average size at the bottom. If they have a heavy size, I think it is. I haven't caught one yet to know exactly what it says. But it's either going to be heavy or trophy. Let's see if we can get one right here. Um, so you can see I got average size, it says in the bottom right of the screen. Um, if they say trophy or heavy, I'm not too sure exactly what it's going to say. Uh, you can deconstruct them, and when you do, uh, they will give you a trophy, which you can place on your wall just like every other trophy in the game. So it's a it's a nice little addition um, for your cornerstones. Uh, moving on, we have auras. Three new visual effects for your radiant weapons are now available. Starting out is Neon, available after unlocking 50 Neon Dragon Souls. Next is Shadow Stain, dropped rarely when adventuring. And finally, Tough Love, which is again dropped rarely when adventuring. Uh, changing Radiant Auras at the Enchanted Forge now goes through them all in order rather than choosing one randomly. And you can now view the auras you have unlocked in the Collections window uh, under Styles and Radiant Auras. So if you press Y, go to Styles, and all the way down at the bottom is Radiant Auras. And you can see these will only show the ones you have unlocked. So if you forget how to unlock, say, the Neon one, you're going to have you're going to have to refer back to these patch notes, which is um, a little annoying. I, like, personally, that's what I think. It's a little annoying having to refer back to patch notes. Um, but these only show the ones that you have unlocked. And again, going through the Enchanting Forge, you will start right here from Wreath of Flames, or whatever is first in your uh, Radiant Wars tab, and it will go one by one. Instead of going, you know, Radi Wreath of Flames to Fighting Lightning and then back, or stuff like that. So, it's a good change. The only thing that I don't like is they do this a lot where they don't stay anywhere in the game where you can get things. You have to always refer back to patch notes. And there are a ton of people that actually don't read the patch notes. That's why I kind of make these videos. But that's the only complaint I have about it. Moving on to game updates. New in the store, cash chests, rewards have been shuffled. Get your hands on the Hot Torched Taurus, submitted by Screamheart. Uh, Sorcerer Servant Emblem has been added to the store. So we can check that out real quick. Let me close out of these little screens. Whoops, I actually dragged the window down. Uh, I'm in a borderless, but you can still drag the window for some reason. I don't I don't know why they allow that. Uh, so if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it is basically the Shadow Strike emblem, which has all been in the game since emblems came out. Uh, which was a minion that does uh, damage based on your physical damage, and now they have one for magic damage. Um, I still don't think it's worth it uh, compared to some other emblems, but uh, it's... Kind of to even out the field, I guess, in terms of emblems. Uh, clicking Get Cash Chest on the Trove Today screen will now open up a store page that shows nothing except Cash Chest. So what they mean by Trove Today screen is the welcome screen. Again, they do this a lot too. They rename things in the patch notes, which is pretty weird. Like one patch note, they said the Ice Age is Ice uh, Demolish or something like that when it's called Ice Crash. Um, it's pretty weird how they do that. Uh, but you can see at the bottom right when you have the Get Chaos Chest button, it now only shows the Chaos Chest packs, which is a little bit more convenient, which is uh, a good update. Moving on to key bindings. Using the mouse wheel when in build mode no longer rotates place objects and now zooms in just like in adventure mode. And holding shift while pressing the middle mouse button will now rotate objects. And walk in build mode previously bound to the shift key is now bound to the control key. So they just... Uh, rearrange some uh, key binds for the build mode. Uh, moving on to adventuring, Nova bosses, which are the bosses that shoot the, like the green poison dart is what I call them. It's just the green things that uh, shoot out in a circle around them. Um, Nova bosses now fire shots in a half circle in front of themselves rather than all around them. So now it's in a 180 degree 
in front of them instead of a 360 degree around them. Uh, classes, player summon objects, for example, Tomb Raider's minions, the Dracolites, burnt offerings, etc. are now destroyed when changing classes. So basically, if I dropped my time bomb and I switched to the pirate captain, it used to stay for the full duration and actually do damage. But now, again, use my parrot, switch to the boom ranger, it disappears. So you no longer benefit from your other classes' abilities, which is good because that was kind of exploitable. Uh, moving on to bug fixes and polishes. Attempting to loot items with your inventory open will no longer claim you don't have space. Uh, and you can now right-click a player's name when they chat in slash say. So if I go slash say and then say hi, um, used to not be able to right-click their name. I can't because it's my name. Um, but if someone else said that, they can right-click my name and now do the whole uh, whisper, add us friend, invite to join me, ignore, and report spam. They can now do that with the slash say because um, they don't have the the brackets in front of them, which I think was what was preventing them from doing that before. I'm not too sure, but uh, now you can do it, so that's good. Um, fixed a few, yeah, fix a few crashes related to particle effects, and finally fixed some video setting changes. Not saving if the screen resolution was changed at the same time. So that's it for the patch notes. Overall, they were just a few new additions, not really anything too big. Uh, so I'm expecting this video to be short. So remember, if you guys need help with anything and you want me to make a guide about it, leave it in the comments below. And if this video gets 5 likes by our next video, I'll post a guide on the top comment. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.